Prime Minister, Harry Theo Harris, who's, uh, who's joined us. Hello, Harry. Hello. Hello. Hi, thank you for coming and talking to us. I, can, I think I can guess the answer to this next question, but what are your feelings about this latest quarantine? Well, this um, quarantine, as, as I already said, is um, quite harsh. It's, uh, we feel disproportionate uh, because we did not set the yardstick. I mean, the, the 20 cases per 100,000 of population is uh, the UK's uh, yardstick. Um, and uh, we're doing everything we can in our power in a full and transparent way to, to keep control of the situation. And we feel we have done so much better than other countries. Having said that, uh, we do recognize, of course, that uh, every government has the right to protect their own people in, this, uh, in the way that they feel uh, is um, um, it should be done. So how big a blow will this be so far and how much worse will it be economically for Greece, which you know, largely depends on seasonal tourism, how much worse will it be if England then follows suit tomorrow, which is perfectly possible? Well, we hope we hope that this will not be the case, of course, because, uh, as I said before, uh, based on, on, on the UK's and England's uh, Jacek, uh, we feel we're well under uh, the bar. And at the same time, we're moving in the right direction. We're actually, you know, have stabilized the cases and we bring them down. Um, if anything, we're also taking the right measures, both on a local level, by um, when we find concentrations, uh, strengthening the, the, the rules and stopping people from, uh, you know, gathering and, and uh, enforcing social distancing um, and doing our best to um, keep everyone safe, both our citizens and the visitors that come to our country. Um, so, as I said, this is going to be important for us, but I think it's important in terms also uh, in terms of the transparency and of, of sticking to rules. Uh, uh, trust uh, is part of the game. Uh, we're asking people to, to follow rules. Uh, so, so we need to send clear messages to everyone involved that... Um, those rules are simple and uh, they're, first of all, adhered to by, by the governments themselves. Where, where finally, will it leave the, uh, the Greek tourism industry? Will you be in need of help? Clearly, it's possible that businesses could fold. A lot of people could lose their, their jobs. Will you be looking to Brussels for help? Well, the Greek government has um, uh, helped uh, both in the first stages of the, of the pandemic and uh, con keeping the, the, um, uh, the, the level of support that's required. Uh, of course, uh, Europe has responded to, with a number of uh, initiatives and funds to, to help each and every country, and of course the countries that are hit uh, hardest with, uh, from this pandemic. Uh, we're hoping that the, as we monitor dynamically the situation and as we take those measures, the same thing will happen on a pan-European level as well. And uh, if uh, there is need for further uh, support, this will be uh, found. All right, good to talk to you. Thanks for joining us here on Times Radio. That's the Greek Tourism Minister, Harry Theoharis. Time now is 4.30.